That's why I say it's so important that you implement a habit, a practice of being quiet. Implementing a practice of staying still. Training yourself every day that you take the time that you are quiet and you're still. And in stillness and in being quiet is you begin to see and have visions, feelings, emotions, the dark, the light, stuff, stuff starts to bubble, anxiety comes, anxiousness comes, you get anxious. But you're still, you're determined to be quiet. You're watching, you're witnessing, and your sense of awareness heightens. You become more aware and more awake, but it takes time. And it depends on different people. Some people, they're more receptive, some people, based on where they're at in the moment of their spiritual development, karmic will, whatever, are less receptive. It takes longer for them, but some people catch quickly or quicker. So you can't compare yourself to other people why your sister or your friend, you took him to your guru, your teacher, and they got it. And me, I've been doing this for 30 years and I'm not getting it. You cannot compare yourself to anybody. But what you can do is have the intention and the understanding that by inner work, diving within yourself and the willingness to explore yourself, going in yourself, the willingness to do it. Is where the gems are. Especially now, we're in such a critical time. When this planet, the collective, it's all going through, through it simultaneously right now. And we've been giving this opportunity. Pay attention to yourself. See how much you distract yourself, how much you find distractions, how many excuses you bring not to do inner work for yourself. Oh, I'm too busy, or my family, or we have guests, or da 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 da, or this set, or I have to travel, or the money, or this, or that. Just pay attention to yourself. Look at yourself and see how many excuses you will bring in order not to do inner work. And you can see it because the deeper you go, The deeper is your understanding, the deeper is your understanding, the less the ego 
the me loses its power. Me, me, me loses its power. Anybody has any questions? Feel free, you can either unmute yourself or if you wanna write on the chat box, best is if you unmute yourself and, and we can directly speak. Well, I just want to say thank you for this. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity to delve into nothing. This is actually my first time, and I'm so appreciative because everything is going so fast, and everybody just seems so distracted and chaotic. This is like just the opportunity to hang out. I'm almost in tears. This is just what I've been craving, you know? We need to be still and we need to be silent and together is beautiful. So thank you. You're welcome. Is this Rachel? Yes. Yeah, hi Rachel, welcome. Hi. Yeah. Beautiful, I'm very happy you had a chance to join in today. We pretty much do this every Wednesday. So feel free to join in whenever you have a chance. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I haven't seen you since Conscious Life Expo, so we can bring Conscious Life right here and right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, nice seeing you again. Likewise, I really appreciate you and your divine energy. Thank you. Take your time throughout the day, consciously, and you don't have to even call it meditation. Just take your time and stop everything you're doing. Wherever you are, let's say you're in a parking lot, you're driving your car, you go to Target, you walk out and you sit in your car. You're in a park, you're in your apartment, house, you're walking by the beach, you're walking wherever. Take your time and stop. And get used to that a habit of pausing. And you know, if you're sitting on a bench in the park or whatever, just sit and just watch. And when you're sitting and watching, naturally after a while your eyes will close And just look inside. Take a look, an examination of what's going on within you. 